Welcome back, Glam Fam. This is Angela Denise, and I am here with you guys with some skincare empties. And I have 10 skincare things that I wanted to come and talk to you guys about. These are products that I've used up here recently and over the last couple of weeks that I want to come and give you guys many reviews on and let you know why I like or dislike the products. So I'm not sure what's been going on, you guys, but this is literally the third time that I have attempted to film this video for you guys. I've been having technical difficulties. I didn't like the way I looked in the video. The makeup didn't look right, whatever. The very first product that I wanna to talk to you guys about is something that I hauled off of the Derm store and this is the Alpha Hydrox Extra Strength Deep Therapy Foot Cream. And this is a 12% glycolic AHA foot cream. It does a amazing job at exfoliating the skin and softening the bottom of the feet. This is something that I use because I really get dry skin on the bottoms of my feet. So after I get out of the shower, I will apply a really heavy layer of this and then put on socks to kind of keep my feet nice, soft, and supple. You do get four ounces of product and it's only $10. I absolutely love this stuff and I plan on purchasing it again. Love. Next up are the Skin Iceland Hydro Firming Cooling Eye Gels. And these are actually gonna be on sale uh, during 21 Days of Beauty for Ulta here coming up soon. And I love these eye gels because they have some great ingredients in them. So I have notes, okay? You can get these at Ulta, the Derm store, and they have peptides, which really does a good job at plumping and hydrating the skin, giving you a more youthful appearance. It has depuffing qualities about it. So if you suffer from puffiness under the eye, these are great. Also, it has CoQ10, which also uh, hydrates the eyes and reduces the appearances of fine lines. So if you have like a special event or getting ready to film, these are great to pop on while you're doing your makeup. So that's kind of how I use them and I highly recommend them, especially when you can get them for 50% off. So yeah. All right, so next up is the Obagi 15% Professional C Vitamin C Serum. I used this up probably about three months ago. Um, I just never talked to you guys about it, but this is an amazing, one of the best vitamin C serums on the market. Unfortunately, it comes with a hefty price tag. It's priced at how much? $102 for one fluid ounce. One of the things that I have a problem with with vitamin C and paying a lot of money with it um, and paying a lot of money for it is simply that the shelf life on vitamin C is so short. So once you're using your vitamin C and you see it turning yellow and then like light brown, that it's time to throw it away. The shelf life on vitamin C is very short, which is one of the reasons why I love the Maylove Glow Maker Antioxidant Serum. The price is right. I believe it's like $28 and one fluid ounce. It has vitamin C, ferulic acid, vitamin E and hyaluronic acid, which hydrates the skin. So I love the Glow Maker. I do love the Obagi. It's just that, you know, if you want an affordable option that is effective, the Glow Maker is the answer. I absolutely love both of these two. I'm gonna hold off on purchasing the Obagi for now because I ordered another May Love. And, and plus I'm testing out a is clinical vitamin C uh, serum that I'm actually getting really good results from. I'll talk to you guys about that in another video. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know that it's gonna be a no for me on this sleeping night oil. This is supposed to be a retinol and blue tansy sleeping oil. It's a next generation retinoid oil that reduces the appearance of pores, wrinkle, and wrinkles while you sleep. So this is gonna be a no simply because I ended up going to the dermatologist because I felt like I wasn't really getting the results that I wanted out of this. So I ended up getting a prescription strength retin uh, Retin-A product that is way more effective than this. This is a very pricey product. Most of Sunday Riley's products are super pricey. You getting, uh, you're getting a half ounce for $55. So for those reasons, it's gonna be a no for me. I will definitely pass on purchasing this again. So next up is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. So I'm gonna let you guys know that this is gonna be a no for me. Now I did pick this one up in a gift set that I bought back in August from Sephora. I love the Aqua Balm 
face moisturizer it is amazing for combination and dry skin so it's not that this is a bad product it's just that i want something around my eyes at night that have active ingredients i need some peptides amino acids i need some um growth factors i need something some sort of active ingredients other than just moisture and hyaluronic acid in my eye cream because i am aging now if you are in your early 20s if you're under 25 and all you need to do is moisturize your eyes at night this is a beautiful beautiful um, moisturizer that i could recommend it's not overly expensive. It's $48 for a half an ounce. And for a good moisturizing eye, uh, eye cream, that's not too bad. So under 25, yes. But if you're over 30, definitely not. You need something at night with active ingredients in it. So that is all I have to say about that. <laughs> So next up are my Dermalogica Microfoliants. So the first one is the Daily Microfoliant. This one is actually geared towards more acne prone skin. I use this probably once a week or two if I have an active breakout, which I haven't been really getting very much. So one thing that I love about those rice based enzyme powders is that they're very gentle and not harsh on the skin. These are actually the only physical exfoliants that I will use on my skin because they are very, very gentle. I don't really like anything that's gonna to be too harsh and abrasive on the skin. I prefer a rice-based exfoliant or either a liquid chemical exfoliant on my skin. So one thing about the microfoliant is that it has BHAs, which helps treat active acne, and it helps dissolve oils on oily skin. It has lic uh, licorice and bearberry, which helps even out the skin tones. So that's one of the reasons why I love these. Now, if you are pregnant or trying to become pregnant, the BHAs is a no ma'am for you. You need to pursue AHAs. Um, BHAs are not safe for pregnant women. I just want to kind of throw that out there. The next one is the Daily Superfoliant. Now, this is the one that I love and that I have already reordered. This is from the Age Smart Collection and I love this one because it's detoxifying for the skin. It has charcoal in it. It has niacinamide, which is kind of like one of the best ingredients for aging skin or uneven skin tones if you ask me. It also has algae in it, which helps fight pollution. It also has lactic and malic acids, which further help resurface the skin. So this is something that I've already repurchased. I can't get enough. This is the only physical exfoliant that I will use on my skin. All of that, St. Ives, apricot scrub. If you're using it, just please stop, please. Okay, more Dermalogica. This is the active toner and I got this one in a travel size during winter time um, because I wanted to try it out and honey this year my skin got really dry around my mouth and so this one was how much was it the, the travel size was $12 you get one ounce and this one is so hydrating so if you are someone that has really dry skin year round and you want to banish it after you finish with your skin skincare spray this on your face morning and night this does an amazing job at hydrating the skin seriously it has uh aloe vera sodium pca it has lav lavender and um arnica in it it also has a little bit of vitamin c which helps brighten the skin the sodium pca acts as humectant kind of like hyaluronic acid which attracts moisture from the air to the skin so i can't recommend this enough if you have dry dry skin it is a beautiful beautiful product unfortunately it is pretty pricey the full size version of this is like 40 dollars but don't go ham don't overuse and abuse the product just spray evenly once on both sides of the face and that ought to do the trick so i just i can't rave about it enough i discovered dermalogica a few months back when i started getting facials and i you know once i get exposed to something i go and i do my research and i went and i purchased some products like these are travel size versions of this stuff and i've already repurchased bigger sizes because they're just good okay they are just good I truly believe that everyone should be using a sunscreen on a daily basis. This is the LTMD Skincare UV Broad Spectrum 46 SPF. This is a really good moisturizer for normal uh, oily combination skin types. 
It is a beautiful product under makeup. It has great active ingredients like 5% niacinamide, which does a great job at reducing the appearance of pores and also evening out the skin tone and um, of fighting early signs of aging. So 5% niacinamide, I'll take that all day. And on top of that, the, the icing on the cake is that it's 30 something dollars you are getting 1.7 ounces and it's ha it has great active ingredients for under $35. You can't beat that. And so I really can't rave about this enough. Spring, summer is coming up. You guys are gonna be outside. Do not rely on SPF from your foundations. You should be using a standalone SPF that does not leave a grayish white cast and um, uh, impact the way your your makeup wears this is the answer I have one right here this is the second one that I ordered and I actually have another one on the way simply because I always want to have a backup because it's something that I use every day both Charles Charles and I so yeah I just I don't want to ramble too long about it but I really really want to kind of reiterate that you should be using sunscreen regardless of your skin tone um, every day and even under makeup and if you're looking for something that wears well under makeup this is the answer and everything that I've talked about in this video I've purchased with my own money I just want to put that out there as well that is going to wrap up today's video I hope that you enjoyed the information that I gave you and until the next one I will see you later bye